Hello guys, uh, welcome back to the channel, welcome back once again to Beta Minecraft, which is, yeah, you know, it is Minecraft, but better, of course, and uh, today's episode, guys, is going to be very interesting, because we are going to do a few things. The first thing they want to do, of course, is to sort this rainbow tree out, because it's grown so much that my ship are getting uh, stuck on it, so there you have it, let's clean it up, there you go, you're free to go now my friend, can you move? Yes you can't, alright, so there you have it, one free ship and a happy one I think, so uh, something else I want to do is to build a vineyard down that area here, so I'm gonna show you very quickly, down here I thought they could be really nice and then join the two uh, lands together, that would be really great to do that, I'm going to need some locks of course, plenty of them and uh, clear up the area, like uh, in here for example, I think they could look very very nice indeed, so that is what is for today's episode, we are going to make a vineyard and yeah, we are going to need all these different uh, <laughs> stuff and, and blocks that we are going to need and, and stone and wood because we are going to need a lot of this thing as well so it's going to be a very simple build but I think it's going to be very very striking going in compass with the uh, theme which is yeah wood and stone plenty of that guys so let me clean up this mess very quickly and then we are going to start uh, laying down the foundations of this building. It's going to be a two storage, I think, but very, very simple. It's a vineyard. By the way, I don't have the vineyard mod pack with me or install, but uh, the closest that I can get to is going to be a sweet cherry. So we are going to make a sweet cherry farm next to this vineyard. So I thought I'm putting a door right here make it this really nice uh, shape, I think it looks really lovely by the way, please like, comment and subscribe, that would be great and thank you to all of you for supporting the channel overwhelming guys, but uh, going and uh, trying to head for 500 subscribers so if you're watching this for the first time, please like, comment and subscribe oh man, and uh, we carry on building this uh, vineyard double storage building so that's what we're doing uh, bringing all the walls up and I am alternating between cobblestone and uh, deep slate uh, just to give you a bit of contrast, you can do this anytime, but that's how it's looking at the moment and let's start working on the roof, so I'm going to place three here and three on the other side and the next thing is going to be, well, a slabs I think is going to be the, the next thing, so there you have it, we are going to place three at the front and three at the back as well as uh, so ah man then we need to go up and uh, this is the only way they can go up and down guys so bear with me and I'm, I'm going to close this thing with the slab as well oh there you have it uh, looking nice i think so we carry on now working on the walls for the second floor this is where i'm going to put a little terrace i think where people can sit down have a cup of coffee or a glass of wine why not and make things really really nice now is it really needed the building i don't think it is but i think that we are going to build a very nice little village in this survival series guys so that's what's all about and as we carry on now making the walls up and the uh, second floor a good opportunity to say guys that the uh, next episode is going to be enchanting all about enchanting because we need to get cracking with more serious stuff like the nether for example or even the two different portals that we found on the last episode so let's complete the uh, roof or the, uh, of the uh, floor depending how you look at it if you are up or down but that's how it's going to look let me open a little door in here as well so people can come in and out looking very nice i think and the next thing of course is going to be to place a little fence around so you cannot fall over in case that you're having a glass of wine you imagine uh, the altitude and uh, obviously something that i'm going to need as well is going to be the crafting table because uh, we need it and a chest because the, my uh, bags are filling up very quickly with things that i'm not really using so you can go in there and uh, we are going back with some fencing so i'm going to make like a little tiny roof to go and uh, yeah make things a bit nicer if we can so a uh, stairs in there i'm going to place another uh, stairs in here as well and close the gap and i'm going to do that on all three sizes and say uh, once that's finished then we can start completing the uh, roof as you can see here 
Oh man, well there you have it. Please uh, leave me a comment below. What do you think about better Minecraft, better Minecraft series in this case? And uh, let me place all these uh, slabs in here. I like to make this type of shape to my buildings because it looks really, really nice. And then we close the top with uh, slabs as well, as you can see on this uh, beautiful weather, as you can see. Oh my God, it's raining everywhere. But there you have it. Let me get some food as well, because one thing that's happening is every time that I jump down, yeah, you guessed it, um, <laughs> I'm getting health damage. So one thing that we're going to do now, I think, is start working on the uh, roof, and uh, that is going to be the profile of it. So uh, let me get up here and start placing some uh, stones in here. And then, yes, you guessed it, one this way, the other one the other way, and we place a block in the middle of both. And say, uh, oh man, this how it's looking, guys. I don't think it's looking that bad. Looking really nice. And uh, we are going to play some windows as well because it's raining. And in a minute, we are going to get water inside. And we don't want that, don't we? And uh, yeah, I think it's looking really nice. A uh, lot of work to do. But I'm going to place uh, another window in here. And don't worry about the color contrast because we are going to strip down those looks straight away as you can see let's do that and now it looks a bit more encompassed with the color palette and uh, definitely working on the roof now just to see if we can finish this thing guys and move on why not uh, i think it's going to be pretty pretty cool so let's close it and we are using a, a stone a cobblestone stairs you can use whatever you want if you wanted to do something like that so of course and uh, you know play with the contrast and different uh, color palettes uh, i am in a rush doing this because i am recording so i'm doing this very quickly but uh, you know uh, if you have the time you can make this looking very very nice so back at the front let me place some uh, slabs in here to give you a bit of texture and then i'm going to use some fencing as you can see to build this thing up a bit and make it look like a little porch way or, or something and uh, you know it definitely could be better but it is what it is i like it like that and this is that's it this is what you get and uh, let me carry on working on uh, this uh, framing here which is going to give you a bit more of a contrast to the whole wall it looks like a finished once you have done this type of thing so that is what i'm doing at the moment let's place this one here and close this very quickly and look at this not looking too bad at all uh, obviously a lot of things to do inside and outside but that will come with time and uh, i'm going to put in here a couple of tables or a couple of seats i would say and i'm going to place here yeah you guessed it a couple of tables uh, one in here and then one in there with some trapdoors and now you can have a glass of wine with you partner why not and have a good day so inside yeah because it's a winery a lot of barrels that is what it is i'm going to place a lot of barrels in there and uh, then the next thing that we are going to do of course is to put some lights because uh, without light we are going to have a lot of creepers visiting us so one in there and one in here and i want to put one in the wall right there and one in the corner here and some on the back as well just to ensure that we don't have any creepers creeping Oh man, looking really nice, I think. And I'm going to put one in the middle as well. Yeah, right there. And uh, time to get the sweet berry farm going. So right next to it. So uh, let's pretend for a minute they are wine, they are uh, grapes, I would say. And uh, that is what is coming next, guys. So I'm going to use fencing for that. And I'm going to use one, two, three, every three blocks. I'm going to place one fence three tall and uh, i'm going to have to climb into some logs or something to make a three but uh, you get the idea guys that is how i'm doing it let's go all the way down uh, on the side of the house and uh, we have yeah that's what we got so um i'm going to place this and i think i'm going to do three or four rows at least so that is what i'm doing and then we are going to plant the sweet berries in between the posts all along so we'll be safe to harvest should we need it so there you go i'm going to now place a three in here although that wasn't intended obviously but uh, there you have it you get the idea three in here three in there three in there and let's carry on moving on with this thing that is for sure oh man uh, to finish it off uh, let's go put some gates at the top i think it looks really really nice and maybe at the top of that campfires that could look 
very nice as well. Of course, you know, if you have any ideas, please leave me in the comment section below. What would you do to make this farm going back? So as you can see, now we can place uh, gates and fencing and at the bottom, especially gates. So you can actually open and harvest what you want to harvest. And I can see already some of these sweet berry growing. Oh, how lovely. And there you have it. And now some outside decorations with leaves. Because I love decorating with leaves, guys. It's so good. So there you have it. Let me jump in here make sure that we can actually get that. And then I'm going to build up a little tiny wall around this uh, wall here of uh, next to the house. Because uh, I don't like it to look so obvious that we done some terraforming. So something like that. Very random blocks, wherever and whatever. Doesn't matter the shape or what you're using. It's just to break a bit the greenery, and I think it looks a bit much better like that. Yeah, I think it looks a tiny bit better. So uh, there you have it. That's what it is. Oh, man, there you have it. And uh, now it's time, of course, to join both lands. And I'm going to make here, like uh, I thought, in having some type of uh, port vibe. Like uh, if the boats are coming in with... Uh, fish crates and tomato crates and all that good stuff almost like a trading route why not i thought that that could look very cool so i'm going to join these two pieces of land with any type of blocks that i see completely random to give a, a contracts and to go in line with what we already have so i'm going to expand this about four or five blocks wide i think that will be more than enough and then we are going to start placing some type of decorations in here oh man this is going to look pretty cool i think so eventually we can do much more but uh, for this series it's going to be what's going to be guys and with time you will see the changes happening look at this and now i'm going to make a nice entrance in here i'm going to make an archway and i'm going to put some lanterns just like a welcome to the trading route kind of thing so there you have it uh, let me place those gates in here offensive and then i'm going to place a couple of lanterns right here guys and that is going to be pretty much it so one here and one in there so next thing maybe is going to be putting some more light into the new building uh, out there so i want to create a couple of lamp post and to do that i'm going to need some lanterns and i'm going to need some fencing as well so let's grab those very quickly okay guys so i'm thinking to build a lamp post somewhere here maybe maybe uh, just bring it up and i think it's going to be different color but it is what it is it, let's do this very quickly shall we and uh, as always i'm going to have to improvise of course so there you have it i'm going to put uh, uh, I think that that should be, yeah, I think that that should be good enough, I think. So let's do that and see how that looks. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it's going to look great. And then we can put that thing in here. What do you think, guys? That is very cute. Look at that. Okay, so uh, let's do another one, shall we? Just at the back. And to make it look a bit nicer, I think. So I think that maybe here we can actually place that one in there. And let's see how this goes, shall we? Uh, that one and that one. And then we're going to place the fence right here. And there you have it. Uh, simple, but very, very striking. I think I absolutely love doing this type of thing. There you have it. Now we have a couple of, of uh, lampposts in there as well. You can make as tall as you want, obviously. Oh, man. So what is next? Well, very quickly. One thing that I'm doing very, very much is uh, fishing. And I'm getting a lot of things that are clocking up my chest. So I want to do a quick chest in there. So that's what I'm going to do next, guys. Make a chest and uh, or a double chest just to uh, put some things when I am fishing. Because uh, then I can see what i am doing and what i am not doing so there you have it we have a double chest right there let's get on with this very quickly and i think my chests are going to go right here i think because uh, you know fishing is going to be really important in uh, this series guys because in beta minecraft you can actually get a lot of enchanting books from fishing very very important so i'm going to give you a little go guys 
Okay, guys, so we got some clusters, a buffer fish, we got some raw salmon, and we got some raw cod. Very quickly, two minutes fishing, but uh, this is what I want to do. Everything that I find fishing, put it in here, and then we can start creating a uh, lovely thing. So, one thing that I want to do before I carry on with the episode as well, of course, is to feed the cows, guys, because uh, we are going to need books and leather and all that good stuff, because next episode, guys, we're going enchanting. We are going to create an enchanting somewhere. And I am thinking to create it in the middle of this little lake in here. That would be great. Like a magical type of enchanting area. That would be great. But uh, now, or for now, let's grab some food for the cows and the sheep. I think it's time to grow them and replicate them. And to make sure that we have plenty, plenty of babies as well. So let me replant uh, these things in here very quickly. And then we can move on. Hello, where are you going? Oh my god, where is he going? Okay, uh, I hope you're not going to mess around my crops, my friend. Because we need them. And I think he's eating something already somewhere. And there you have it. Okay, uh, so with that, time to feed the cows. Okay, let's feed them. Look how many there are. Okay, I'm just randomly trying to feed them and uh, see what we get from here. But they're getting way too many, I think, now. So uh, feeding time is finished, my friends. You can carry on having so many babies all the time. So there you have it. All right, okay. Uh, let me go past, please. Thank you very much. Okay, so there you have it. Look at the babies. That's so cute. Look, we have one, two babies in there. Three. I see another one at the back as well. Yeah, I think that uh, this population is growing way too much. Let's see what we're doing with these guys in here, shall we? Because this one's as well. I mean, this is not a very big pen by any means. But, uh, you know, let's uh, see what they want, shall we? Shall we make some more babies, guys? Oh, there you have it. I don't have any more, so sorry. We need to move on, guys. And with a new day, a new adventure, guys. Now, you will remember, let me show you very quickly, that we found this lush cave in here. And I really would like to go and visit that very quickly because uh, one thing that I want to do is to start making this a bit nicer. We are going to carry on making houses and buildings around this street in here. So I want all these buildings to come all the way down here and make like a that tiny village in here and then maybe expand that way or even that way let's see how it goes guys but that's my friends is where we are going next we are going to see the lush cave and with that here we are guys i think this is going to be the lush cave uh, yeah because we put that uh, mark in there hence why it's so cool to do it that way and uh, let me see if we can actually find the entrance because it has to be yeah i think it's this one in here if i remember correctly oh yes it is look at this oh i'm excited to do this guys i love lush caves like i really really like them so uh let's go and see oh my god what are we going to do in here uh, i want to uh, we have lots of clay look the amount of clay we have as well should we want to do it but uh, my main aim here is to gather uh, moss. I think that moss is going to be really important for what I want to build as well. And uh, yeah, uh, I already can see a couple of things in there. Yeah, they're not going to be very friendly, but that's why I bought my trusty bow. So let's see what happens. Look at this beautiful. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. So, oh yeah, I wanted these little trees as well. Oh, but this is going to be cool. So this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted, guys, because with this, we are going to make a lot of different things. Look at these gorgeous petals everywhere as well. Don't you just love it? Don't you just love it? I'm going to get some of those as well. It's like a Christmas, guys. This is very, very nice indeed. So there you have it. All right, so we have five of those. A couple of those will be more than enough because uh, I will show you what I do. Ah, Salia flowers, what a beautiful. Uh, I'll show you what I do with um, bone meal to actually replicate that very, very quickly. So let's have a quick look, shall we? With this. Uh, oh, granite. I don't want granite at this point. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this? What is that? Uh, are you friendly? Wh what are you? Uh, that doesn't look friendly to me. What the hell is it? Um, I mean, it doesn't look friendly, isn't it? Uh, what are you, man? Are you friendly of sorts or what are you? Are you stuck in there? Oh, man. Yeah, that thing, I think it's stuck in there, I think. Oh, hello. 
Uh, well, okay, it uh, looks friendly enough for a minute. Uh, what can I say? Oh man, this is really, really cool. Oh, we have iron in here as well. And you know what they say? If you get iron, you get it. If you see it, you get it. But look at this, this is gorgeous, guys. Uh, it goes down and down and down. So let's go back a bit because it's very easy to get lost in here, very, very easily. Oh, where's it gone? Okay, well, the little man is gone. Uh, maybe got, you know, fall down the hole or something. Oh, look at, look at that. I mean, that goes down. Okay, let's uh, let's do one thing at the time, shall we? Make sure that we are not going to get lost because uh, this is what happened with these things. Oh, man, look at this beauty. Oh, even we have one of those flowers that can make uh, those little petals drop and all that good stuff. Oh, man, this is going to be very, very nice. Oh, man, look at what? Where? Where are you? Okay, so I came this way. I want to make a bit of a um, signal in here that we came through this place. So I'm going to put one in there and maybe one in here as well, just to give me an idea. And uh, I already got here some mobs in here, guys. So let's see what we find, shall we? Oh, we have creepers. Okay, let's see, shall we? Oh yeah, we got that one. Twice. Oh, that's the way it goes. <laughs> that's the way it goes. One thing I'm getting really used to, by the way, is to use the bow and arrow. I never used to use the play in Minecraft that much, to be honest. But uh, I realized that, uh, yeah, we need it. Oh, look at the beautiful fish in the, in the waterfall, guys. Oh, it just fallen. Okay, maybe one day we can do that as well. Get some fish as well, live fish, and start doing a couple of things with it. That will be great as well. And what that take us, I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. Oh, look at this. Okay, look, more iron in here as well, which I want to take, obviously. Okay, um, we could go up, but oh man, I'm, I'm trying to uh, figure out if we can find some diamonds as well. That would be great because uh, we're definitely going deep down in here. Let's go see the goodies that we can find, shall we? Oh man, oh man. Okay, um, let me just stop here for a second and see what else we can see. Look at that. That is huge, guys. I can see iron in there, but uh, I don't see anything else than that for a minute. So let's see what happens, shall we? Oh, look at this, guys. Look, the amount of uh, fish that we have in here. Uh, this, uh oh, wait, hold on. We have company. Oh, we have a lot of company. Okay, one is down. Uh, let's get the other one very quickly. And I wonder if we are going to have a spawner somewhere. There. Look, the iron as well in there. Oh, this cave is gorgeous. The, the um, glowing uh, thing is, that's really good to make signs. And I will explain that at some point, hopefully. Oh, man, oh, man. Okay, what we got in here? Uh, we have a few fellas. Oh, we don't have any arrows. No. Oh, I ran out of arrows as well. Okay. And uh, come on. Off you go. Okay, and uh, running out of, of torches as well, guys. So this is not going to be easy to complete. But look at this. It's absolutely stunning. Oh, wow. Loving it, guys. Loving it. Uh, do we have... Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so we have a, a spider there doing whatever he's doing. And uh, I got his attention. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that only means one thing. That only means one thing. And that's a spawner somewhere. Okay, uh, guys, take it easy, take it easy. Only came to investigate. Oh, man, okay, one is done. All right, I think it's time to retrieve. Oh, man, okay, so plenty of mods, as you can see, but loving this place. Okay, so that one is done as well, he's done as well. Oh, my God, must be a spawner somewhere there, I think. So we are going to have to look into that. Oh man, and I only have one torch left. What a shame. Uh, we should illuminate all this place in here at some point. But look at this. I just wanted to have a really good peek in this episode, guys, and then come back. Oh wow, this looks amazing. This looks beautiful in here. Okay. Um, well, no much that I can see at this point in terms of diamonds and all that good stuff. But so many things in here that we could actually look at. But I don't have enough... Uh, 
enough torches to adventure further i am afraid but uh, oh my god this is a uh, very very nice what depth are we at minus 37 so not quite a uh, diamond territory but oh man i love these guys this is so pretty all right so i got what i came for uh maybe a bit of uh, yeah moss we could get moss blocks although i think that we have three i think uh, back at home so uh, that doesn't bother me i'm going to get the red stone as well now that i am here because the xp we are level 38 next episode guys is going to be all about enchanting so uh, and enchanting in beta minecraft by the way don't forget that this is not the normal minecraft and i love you guys and yes i'm going to take this two here and maybe this one as well yeah because with that guys you can actually make the signs glow so we will do a bit of that at some point as well oh man this is really looking really lovely look we have another one in here okay they are quite rare to find actually so i am very pleased that we found this one and say uh, who are you my friend oh look all the fishing here as well okay so let's go up and see where we get in next shall we okay let me get a bit of moss as well these moss blocks which are pretty cool i can get a few of those but uh, seriously we are not going to need that many because now we have the uh, saplings that is going to be more than enough so uh, one thing that we need to do is cross the other way oh no we need to go that way i'm afraid so let's do that very quickly <laughs> get out of this lovely lovely cave and definitely this is going to be about searching this place a bit more that is for sure and the good thing about this village is very, very close to home as well. I mean, relatively close, but uh, it's not too bad. We're only about 500 meters uh, based on the measurements of uh, this uh, game. So, yeah, very, very close. We can come back here anytime that we want. And we will do that soon as things develops. Oh, my God. This is going to be a pretty interesting series, guys. I love beta Minecraft because it's Minecraft, but better, much better, I would say and the amount of things that you can make in addition to what uh, the normal vanilla minecraft is oh we have a well in there that i don't want to get close oh we have some veggies in here as well that we can actually grab at some point we are very very close to home as you can see look uh we are very close but uh, we have some wells following us and i don't like that at all and there we have it we are back at home guys uh, let's see what happened in this episode shall we and with that and our cows friends in here yes we are going to say goodbye for today guys so please like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next daily upload guys stay put because things are getting interested i will see you then guys until then take great care